Hello friends. This is the second lecture of power system protection. In this lecture, we are going to study different components of protection system. Uh, the components are instrument transformers, relays and circuit breakers. So we will see the role of each component in the protection system by using this example. In this example, the protection system protects a single phase line. So the current that is flowing through the single phase line, if there is a fault, then this current is detected by the current transformer and it is reproduced to a lower scale I dash. So I is the actual current through the power circuit. It is reproduced to I dash, which is at a lower level at which this relay is operating. So the if a fault is sensed, then the normally open contacts, these relay contacts that will close and that will complete the circuit, electrically complete this circuit. So when this circuit is uh, completed, the breaker trip coil is energized and this contact is opened. The breaker contacts are opened. So uh, the faulty component here, the faulty component is the line itself that is isolated from the system. Uh, so this is a simple overcurrent protection scheme okay, to demonstrate the working. So the type of instrument transformer used here is uh, CT, which is this one. The conductor itself is the primary for the CT. Uh, that is current I, which is in kilo amps range. The secondary of the CT is the coil here, the coil shown here. This coil can be in the form of a ring through which the conductor passes. Conductor in the sense the power circuit passes. Okay, so the ring itself acts as the secondary. So uh, the, the electrically, the ring circuit is the secondary of the CT, which has uh, I dash flowing through it. And uh, uh, that current only operates the relay operating coil. So the function of CT is to reproduce in its secondary winding a current I dash that is proportional to the primary current I. Okay, now, the CT converts primary current in uh, kilo amps range to secondary currents in the 0 to 5 amps range. Secondary current is this one, this circuit. Okay, I dash. I dash is in 0 to 5 amps range. For convenience, uh, this is for this for convenience of uh, measurement uh, and uh, some other advantages are also there. Um, the first one is safety. Safety in the sense, um, this circuit is electrically isolated from the power circuit. Right. So the personal working with relays will be safer. Then the second aspect is economy. Economy in the sense uh, uh, as the relay is operated at a lower level input, the relay relay's physical design can be smaller. Physically, the relay can be the size of the relay uh, can be smaller and it can be less expensive. So this is economic also. The use of uh, instrument transformer here makes this uh, uh, protection system more economic also. Now the third one is uh, um, more of a requirement. It is accuracy. It should accurately reproduce the power system currents and voltages uh, in the secondary or in the operating range of the relay uh, over the whole operating range. Operating range in the sense the power circuit has current I. Uh, it has some range, right? The whole range could be reproduced. It, it should be uh, reproduced in the uh, secondary. Okay. Now, the function of relay. Now we come to the relay because the CT, the role of CT is over in the sequence of events. Fault has occurred. The CT's role, uh, it has done uh, its role. Then we come to the uh, relay part. The function of the relay is to discriminate between normal and faulty operation, operating conditions. Um, the overcurrent relay uh, in the figure has an operating coil. This is the operating coil connected to a secondary CT winding. This is a secondary CT winding and a set of contacts. Set, a, set of contacts. Okay. Now, this is breaker contacts. This is a set of contacts. Okay. Relay contacts are this one. Mm -hmm. Now, when magnitude of I dash, the secondary CT current is I dash, the, when the magnitude of I dash exceeds a specified pickup value, some threshold value, I dash threshold, if it exceeds uh, this value, then the operating coil causes 
the normally open contacts to close. This is normally open, it will close. Then it will complete this circuit. It will energize this breaker trip coil and the breaker contacts are opened and the system is isolated. The component is, the equipment is isolated. The equipment here is a single phase line that is isolated. Now, the circuit breaker does not open until its operating coil is energized. Until this is energized, this will not open. Okay, so uh, this, this opening can be um, done manually or uh, it, uh, no, it, it can be energized. This can be energized manually or uh, um, automatically. Manually in the sense, this is manual trip. Okay, manual trip in the sense, if this is closed, if this circuit is closed, then the path of current is like this. Okay. Now, if, if it is automatically closed, then these contacts are closed. Then the path is like this. Hmm? This is the path. Now, based on the information from the instrument transformers, it can be C, VT or CT. That is why, in general, the broader term is used here, instrument transformers. So here it is a CT, right? So based on the information from the CT, a, a decision is made by the relay and the decision is relayed to the trip coil. The decision is relayed to the trip coil um, of the breaker, trip coil of the breaker, which actually opens the power circuit, this one. That is why this is known as a relay. Now, let's see the design criteria for system protection components or the requirements of a protective system. Reliability, selectivity, speed, economy, then simplicity, then two more are there, stability and discrimination. Discrimination is actually a subset of selectivity. Selectivity is a broader term. Okay, now we'll uh, go through each one. Reliability, to operate dependably when fault conditions occur, even after remaining idle for months or years. Uh, reliability uh, implies the quality of the protective system less the probability of failure, better the reliability, right? So uh, the failure can occur in any component of the protective system. It can be uh, in the relay itself or the circuit breakers or the control circuits, or it can be due to uh, an erroneous conversion by the system transducers. Erroneous conversion in the sense, we have a CT here, right? So the, in the power circuit, the fault current happens in the power circuit, which is a single phase line here. This is I. So if it is not properly reproduced in the secondary circuit, the relay will, uh, I mean, will have a false trip, right? Uh, it will cause a false trip. So this should not happen. That is what is uh, meant by erroneous conversion of the conversion by the system transducers. Okay. Now, uh, another requirement, um, in the reliability aspect is the regular and thorough maintenance of the protective equipment. Also the uh, knowledge of uh, the personnel operating the system uh, should be well updated. Uh, then the inherent design features and fabrication um, should be proper uh, to make the protective system reliable. Now we'll move on to the second one, which is the selectivity. Selectivity has two aspects, as I told you. One is discrimination and another is uh, uh, physical selectivity. Discrimination is logical to discriminate between um, a faulty condition and a non-faulty condition. The, the logic should be uh, capable of uh, discriminating a faulty condition and a non-faulty condition. That is basically discrimination. Then physical selectivity is that physical section of the system should be isolated, which is faulty, right? That particular section of the, uh, that particular physical section of the system should be isolated, which is faulty. So no healthy part should be isolated. If a part of a healthy system is also isolated, then it affects the reliability. So that is the logical selectivity uh, part aspect. Okay. Now, um, uh, another aspect is speed. Okay, speed in the sense uh, to operate rapidly to minimize the fault duration and equipment damage. This, of course, we have already uh, discussed in the 
first lecture. Um, faster the speed of operation of elements of a protective system, less is the damage to the equipment that we know. Um, normally the equipments are short term, short time rated uh, for high fault currents and therefore uh, there will be practically no damage to the equipments if the relays and breakers operate fast. The time setting of the relays has to be decided on the basis of this short time rating. What is the short time, short time rating? An equipment can handle uh, the current that an equipment can handle. Uh, there is a, uh, I mean, there is a maximum limit for that, right? So if this current is increased, then the duration of handling will be reduced, right? The time duration of handling will be reduced. So accordingly, the relays uh, time setting should be uh, designed. Uh, that is what is uh, the aspect of speed. Now, another important aspect of speed is that um, if the faults are not cleared in on time, if the faults are not cleared on time, uh, depending on the magnitude of uh, the short circuit power, the generators of the power system may go out of step or it may lose synchronism and it may cause a complete shutdown of all the generators and the system may uh, uh, move to a blackout, a complete blackout. Uh, this is this normally happens when there is a cascaded tripping because because the damage itself spreads, the fault itself spreads. So uh, many relays simultaneously uh, trips uh, a trip. So that, that is what is cascaded uh, tripping. OK, now another aspect is uh, simplicity to minimize the protection equipment and security, basically uh, reducing the complexity of the protection system. Now, in addition to these uh, um, requirements, stability is another uh, requirement. The term stability is often used to describe the quality of a protective system uh, because uh, it should remain inoperative for faults in other zones. We have already discussed about uh, zonal protection. So um, a, a, a circuit breaker in a particular zone should trip for a fault in that particular zone, right? It should not trip for the fault in the other zone. So it should remain inoperative under specified conditions, right? That is what is uh, stability. Now sensitivity, selectivity, reliability, speed, economy, simplicity, stability and sensitivity. Sensitivity refers to the minimum level of fault current at which the operation occurs. Mm, uh, it is a fault setting and is usually expressed in operating quantity referred to the primary of a transducer. Primary of a transducer in the sense primary of a, here primary of a CT. Mm. Uh, there is a difference between sensitivity of a relay and sensitivity of a protective system. Sensitivity of a relay is expressed as the apparent power in volt amperes. Um, required uh, for operation. OK, so a one volt ampere relay is more sensitive than a three volt ampere relay. OK, so these are the basic requirements of a protection system or the design criteria for a protection system. Now we will uh, move on to the I mean in the next lecture we will move on to instrument transformers in detail. OK, thank you.